Putin greets his brother in arms as Assad arrives in Moscow. The two leaders discuss Russia's airstrikes in Syria. As Canada's new PM withdraws all their jets, Syrian leader makes his first foreign visit since civil war broke out in 2011. Assad thanks main backer for helping to contain terrorism in his country. Comes as new Canadian PM Justin Trudeau pulls out of US-led airstrikes. Told Obama he would remove Canada's six jets that were targeting ISIS. President Bashar al-Assad has flown into Moscow for a surprise meeting with Vladimir Putin in his first foreign visit since Syria's war broke out four years ago. The Syrian leader held talks with his Russian counterpart to discuss their joint bombing campaign against Islamist militants. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Assad arrived for a working visit to Moscow last night night, but did not specify whether he was still in the Russian capital today. The meeting came as Canada's new leader announced he will end his country's involvement in U.S.-led airstrikes on the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. Russian President Vladimir Putin, Third Right, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, Second Right, Defense Minister Sergei Shoig, Right, and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, Second L, hold talks at the Kremlin in Moscow. Assad told his main backer that Russia's campaign in Syria has helped contain terrorism in his country. Terrorism, which has now spread through the region, would have taken much larger areas and would have spread throughout much larger territory if it were not for your actions and your decisions, he said in comments translated into Russian. He would like to express enormous gratitude to the whole leadership of the Russian Federation and to the Russian people for the help they are giving Syria. Thank you for standing up for the unity of Syria and its independence. Those political steps that have been taken by the Russian Federation since the start of the crisis have not allowed events in Syria to develop following a tragic scenario. Putin, in turn, said Russia was also ready to help with a political solution in Syria and would work closely on that with other world powers who want a peaceful solution to the conflict. We were back. Justin Trudeau's stunning victory is reverberating around the world after the Liberal Party leader emphatically ended a decade of rule by the most conservative leadership in the country's history. He said that positive developments on the military front in Syria would provide a basis for a long-term political solution, involving all political forces, ethnic and religious groups. Single quote Devil we are ready to make our contribution not only in the course of military actions in the fight against terrorism, but during the political process. This will, of course, be in close contact with other world powers and with countries of the region which are interested in a peaceful resolution of the conflict, Putin said according to the transcript. In Canada, Justin Trudeau's stunning victory is reverberating around the world after the Liberal Party leader emphatically ended a decade of rule by the most conservative leadership in the country's history. Two Royal Canadian Air Force F-18 Hornet fighter jets fly over the Romanian military air base during a NATO mission in May last year. Canada is withdrawing its six bombers from used lead strikes in Iraq and Syria, as well as the airstrikes. Other areas in which Mr. Trudeau differs from his predecessor Stephen Harper are climate change, immigration and whether relations with the U.S. should hinge on the future of the Keystone XL oil pipeline. Mr. Trudeau said he spoke to Barack Obama and told him he would remove Canada's six fighter jets from the bombing campaign in Iraq and Syria. Speaking at a rally in Ottawa, the Mr. Trudeau, 43, the son of Pierre Trudeau, one of Canada's most dynamic politicians, underlined the sea change. You want to say this to this country's friends around the world, many of you have worried that Canada has lost its compassionate and constructive voice in the world over the past 10 years. Well, I have a simple message for you on behalf of 35 million Canadians. We are back. He declared.